Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This is Connie. I am getting ready to do a really quick, um, easy get ready with me this morning uh, before I go to my mom's house for Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, I'm cooking just about everything. She's got the turkey and everything in already, but I'm going to go help her. So um, just getting ready to go now and thought I'd do this. I This is going to be a talk through. Um, I did not film it all last week as you know I'm very sorry about that I am um, this time of year is really tough for me um, trying to keep positive trying to keep upbeat but you know it's a depressive time of year for a lot of people and and for me for sure but anyway I had some more depressive news yesterday that I'm going to talk to you guys about and I'm just going to get started with my, um, I'm just going to do a moisturizer, a tinted moisturizer is all. I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm going to, I'm going to be looking in the mirror a lot because I have, as you know, my eyes aren't great. So I have to look at this magnifier mirror to see how I'm doing. So anyway, I'm going to shake this up a little bit here. And um, anyway, I wanted to talk to you about my job. Um, in June... I went through a temp agency and got hired on as a temp um, 50 hours a week, Monday through Friday, uh, 6 to 4, 10 hours a day. And um, I worked 100 hours there, and then I got hired on in, in September as a full-time employee. So about that same time, I was working out in the plant. I'm product or up. Uh, purchasing clerk is what I do. I order all the meat. I order I work for a pet food company. We make wet pet food and and some dry. But anyway, um I was working in the plant. I had to share an office with a guy. Um and you know, it was fine. It worked out fine, but then I got transferred to the warehouse where I'm at now. I have my own office, so I decorated it up really cute and all this kind of stuff. I was real excited about having my own office, and I do the same thing. Um, I'm, my job is going to be expanding now to ordering um, the labels for the cans, which is a big job. That's a that's a huge job, and um, yesterday morning, our boss comes over and says um, we we've been slower. So, no more overtime. So there go my 50 hours. And we're not going to be working Mondays. For, for now. For a few weeks. So that's down to 32 hours a week. That's 20 hours almost for me. That's, you know, at what I make, that's over $200 a week that I'm going to lose. Um, I can't afford that. I can't. I was so excited about this job. It's a job that I love doing. I like the people I work with, most of them. Um, you know, as in any job. <laughs> uh, I'm just so dang disappointed. But we are so slow that we're not going to be working Mondays anymore for a few weeks. And we absolutely no overtime anymore. I was hired at 50 hours a week. So um, they're going to see what they can do about my hours. Um, probably no overtime, but I don't know. I'm just so, I am so, so upset about this. Um, I better start doing my makeup or else I'm going to be late going to my mother's house. I, I don't know what to do about it, to tell you the truth. Um, do I look for another job? You know, you guys that have been watching me for a while know how long it took me to get this job. Know how, you know, I was without work for quite a while. Um, I, just, I don't know what to do. You know, to pay my rent, to pay my cable, to pay my, my phone bill, um, I'm leasing my phone, so my phone is expensive. Um which was a stupid thing to do, I'm figuring out. Um, I don't know. I just, I really, I don't know what to do about it. I sit tight for a little while and see how things go, I guess. But, you know, still, at 40 hours, that's still 10, 10 hours a week that are taken away from me. 
that I depend on. I wouldn't have leased that phone if I would have known that this was going to happen. Of course, you know, things in life happen. Life isn't fair sometimes. If you guys follow me on Facebook, you saw my post this morning. You know, I forgot to get a concealer. Excuse me. One second. I'll use my better. By the way, I used my flower moisturize, moisturizing um, or tinted moisturizer in TM1, which is a really fair color. I'm going to use my better, better skin in concealer in <laughs> I'm sure it's fair. It's light. Um, you know, I, I don't make any money off of YouTube. I've never gotten a check, even though I make... I don't know, what is it? How much does your channel have to make in order to start getting checks from YouTube? I know I've, I've done almost $80. Or, you know, that's what it averages out to be or something. I don't, I don't quite understand it. But, um, that is, uh, it's $80. If you guys could explain that to me, that'd be off awesome. Um, I'm just using my Real Techniques Beauty Blender here. To blend that concealer in under my eyes not that any concealer really does a good job on my eyes my eyes I have these deep rings under my eyes and a lot of wrinkles right here that just don't get covered all right I'll do my eyes I did I do have lip balm on getting my lips ready for um, my lipstick, as usual. I'm gonna do my brows first. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my my NYX brow mascara, in I think this is brunette. God, and I was gonna go get my perm, and I was gonna go. You know, for when my kids come, I was going to go get my nails done. I don't think I can afford it now. I don't know what I'm going to do. My my kids, or my son, and his his wife, Carrie, and uh, my two grandchildren. I have um, Clover, who's six and a half, and Connor, who is two and a half, coming Um Clover, they live in Port, Portland, Oregon, which is a long ways from here. Um, I, I've never been able to fly. I've gone out there twice. Once when they got married, and once after my granddaughter was born. She was two weeks old when I went out there. Um, they, they come home every other year. So I have seen my granddaughter three times, and she's six. And I've seen my grandson once, and he's two. Um, they are they don't share pictures very well, so I don't get pictures real often. Phone's ringing. Just one moment, I'm back. Please. Sorry about that. That was my mom. Um, I have a question for you. I am having the hardest time. Um, I go on Zedge Z E D G E dot com for my ringtones and and stuff like that. Well, I cannot find very much music that I want. It's all crap on there lately, like, you know, talking stupid stuff. And I want music. Like, I want um, Hello by Adele. I want um, maybe some Lionel Richie mu music. I like that Rob Thomas music. I want um, Taylor Swift music. Where do you guys go to get your ringtones? Tell me. And I will check it out. Um, Zed just, Zed's used to be a lot better... You know, I go there for my wallpapers, too, and they do have some great wallpapers for my phone. Um, but I'm having a heck of a time getting any music that I like. So, anyway, um, there's my eyebrows done. 
that one does a really, I think, a really pretty well job on my eyebrows. I really like it. The NYX um, brow, tinted brow mascara, it's called. I love the brow mascara. That's what I use all the time. And I'm going to use my new Stardust. I have not used this yet. So today is the first time I'm using it. Um, I'm very excited. So I'm just going to take this off and leave it off. I don't need that on there. Let me look at the colors here and see what I want to wear. Get a couple brushes out here. These are Carity brushes. I believe I got these for review a while ago. Um, I'm going to just make sure that they're clean. Um, I'm going to use this Chandler all over my lid. Or No, I'm not going to use that all over my lid. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. I am going to go with the selfie on my lid. want it all the way up though because it does have shimmer in it and I've got old eyes very nice application okay I'm gonna go in right away and do this right under my brow this um it's called Chandler chandelier sorry And I am not doing anything fancy with my eyes. I mean, these people that do all these 10 different colors on their eyes. No, thank you. Not that it isn't beautiful. It's just that it's not for me. Clean my brush off here. And I'm going to go in with, I use this for my inner crease and my, that's chandelier. And then I'm going to go in with uh, Millennial and do my, eyelid it's not a very it's kind of almost kind of an orangey brown I don't know but it looks it's pretty I should have worn a purple one that's what I should have done to match my top and my jewelry I gotta show you the ring that I got um I bought this this jewelry it's not a set uh, the necklace has got earrings <sighs> sorry the necklace has got earrings to go with it cleaning my brush off here it's definitely okay so here is the necklace um, it's just so pretty. It's got uh, kind of violet or lilac colored um, jewels in it. It's just beautiful. And it's got earrings that just match these, but I my ears get infected so easy that I rarely wear earrings. 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 Okay, and then look at the ring I got. I got these at ShopGo, which is a discount like Kmart or that, um, like three years ago. This, I bought this at the same time I bought this stuff, and they were all like 90% off. And they're, they're rather expensive. This was a $100 ring, and 90% um, off is like 10 bucks. So, um, isn't that beautiful, though? It's like one of those chocolate diamonds, only it's not, of course. It's cubic zirconia, I'm sure. Um, anyway... Let's see here. I'm going to put, just go in with my finger on this gold nugget and just do a little bit of gold in the center of my eye. That always kind of gives a 
little bit of a pop. <laughs> okay, anyway, I didn't show you my Stardust. Isn't that beautiful? That bottom middle gold is the one that I just put on my eyelid. Just a beautiful, beautiful palette. I am just going to go under my eye just to make sure that Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go in on the bottom and put a little bit of this Physicians Former Shimmer Strip in. I'm sure this is just brown. On the bottom eye line. And I'm just going to go in just a little bit. About halfway. There we go. Used to go all the way, but I found that that kind of closes up your eye. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of this. On the corner and kind of close that gap. I hope that doesn't look too stupid. <laughs> okay, mascara. And I'm going to, I got this in a box last week, and I can't remember which box it is. I, I get confused on my boxes. But this is from, uh, it's Black Magic Mascara. And I just think it's so neat. It's so unusual. I, I've never seen one like this, honestly. Um, and it's just got a little bit of curve to it. So I'm going to go in this is rather I really like this um, wand because it really separates I'm not clumping it does not clump whatsoever a little wet got to be careful with it and of course I don't know what's the matter with me. I'm going to have to start putting my, my curling wand. I never curl my eyelashes, and I forget to all the time. Go on my bottom. There we go. Eyes are done. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go with blush. And I am using my um, Stila in Gerbera. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to have to go in with a brush. I'm going to go in with my um, Real Technique Stipple Brush. Because it is cream. Not very good at using cream products, so it's very, very faint, I think, from what I can see. I can't see it real well. But I don't like a dark um, blush, and my mother just ha goes crazy if I use dark blush. I, I don't know why. She just, she hates it. So I'm going to go in with a ColourPop and Wisp. It's Super Shock Wisp. Super Shock Cheek um, for my highlighter. And it is, let's see here. Uh, use this brush by Real Techniques. As you can tell, I really like 
real techniques. Okay, so and I'm gonna go over the whole thing then. This is what um, Wayne Goss taught me how to do that. <laughs> Just use your Just very simple look today. Okay, so for my lipstick, I am wearing my uh, Collective Privy by Julianne. And this is by Julianne. Do you think I can ever think of her name? It, she's a re real redhead. She was in some of the... Um, uh, pff, not Mad Max, with Mel Gibson. Um, Never mind. Anyway, she's she's redhead, and this is her her shade of nude, and it's it's six twenty in Julianne's nude, and it is, I think it's L'Oreal, it is L'Oreal, but anyway, this is the nude, and it's absolutely beautiful. They've got one. They've got one that's like um, a J Lo nude, and they've got different ones. It's got a nice smell to it. Um, I don't know how to describe, but I, smells are hard for me to describe. But um, anyway, this is what it looks like, the outside cover. And it's got that really kind of velvety feeling. Um, you know. There you go. And there is my get ready with me for today. I need to do go try to do something with this hair. <laughs> anyway, um, the job situation. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. <sighs> but you know, guys, any tips and tricks you can give me about my about my videos, about anything. Um, don't be super critical. In one of my other videos, um, people were pretty critical about things um and it kind of hurt my feelings just a tiny bit <laughs> i'm very i'm pretty sensitive but yet i want that i you know it it did help me because i won't do what they told me to anymore you know um just be be super critical but say it in a very nice way that's all i ask that's all i ask i love you guys and i will see you very soon um since I have until Tuesday off, I guess I'll be filming some videos. I've got quite a few things since I didn't film last week. So um, I will be filling up your mailboxes. Talk to you soon. Happy Thanksgiving.